everybody welcome back to the channel it is 6 30 in the morning i am fully ready to go for the day and here's why because that's not the norm alec is out of town this whole week he is in new york for a work event for the week so i have been single mom in this ship today's thursday i've been doing this for three days now and he comes back late tomorrow night but I'm gonna take you through my day today. Uh, the past few days, I've had like a friend come over for the afternoon or hang out or come past the time or I went to my mom's yesterday. So I've been trying to um, do things to stay busy. But today we are just riding solo over here. So I'm gonna take you through day in the life, doing the mom thing, start to finish. Hello. Got up, did a really quick, just like rinse shower to wake up. I didn't wash my hair today. Put on my makeup really quick because the babies are up, which they normally sleep until seven but at 6 30 they're both like wiggling but they're not crying which is good and kind of unusual sometimes they wake up and it's just like pandemonium i am gonna try to make my coffee and then make their bottles and then bring them upstairs and i'll take you through the day from there Even before Alec was gone, been doing their morning bottle in the crib. Otherwise, they are just so excited to be up and start crawling around and moving that they do not drink their bottles. And then they are crabby very soon after because they're hungry, but they didn't want their bottle. So it's like just been a whole thing. So they sit in their crib while they're still sleepy, drink their milk, and I sit in the chair and talk to them. And then while Alex is gone, I sit here and drink my own coffee, which I actually feel like I'm establishing some good routines with him being gone. Like I'm even like setting my alarm and being up before them. Honestly, I usually just wake up when they wake up and that's a really bad way to wake up because it's startling if they wake up like crying and you just feel like you don't have any second to yourself. It's like the second they wake up, you're up and you're doing baby stuff and it's just stressful. So establishing good routines. Honey boy. Hi baby. You look so sleepy. What is that? Bang. Camera? Camera? He has a scratch on his nose that he keeps reopening the scab. Hi, Herbie girl. Okay, I won't distract you. Also, they are both still drinking formula in the morning. I'll walk you through what's in their bottles throughout the day because we kind of mix. Dada is not here. Oh. Hello. Hello. Is that Dada? Is that Dada? Say hi to Huddy. Hello. Oh, he's too busy with his milk. Who's that? Dada. <laughs> Harper, where's your cat? Where's the cat? Yeah, is it your cat? I'm making a safe space so they can come out here and play. But they can't go anywhere that they're not supposed to. Huddy, what sound does a bunny make? A sniff, sniff, sniff. Huddy, what sound does a lion make? Good boy. Okay, sorry, got a little derailed there because I was talking with Alec. 
<gasps> yeah, were we talking in Dada? Yeah. Yeah, Dada. Usually we hang out in their room for a bit. I'll shut the door and they'll just crawl around and play with like their stuffed animals and stuff. Basically the name of the game when I'm doing this alone is just like be in an area until they're not content there anymore. Like no need to complicate this and move them around and do all this stuff. If they're happy playing in their room, let's just keep doing that. Do you guys want to go have breakfast? <laughs> Harper, do you want to eat? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we're going to go downstairs. Okay, they're going to play with these while I get their food going. Dave's Killer Bread Power Seed Bread with some peanut butter cut into pieces. Then we have some full fat Greek yogurt, mashed up some raspberries in there with honey. We're gonna start with these two. I'm gonna feed them the yogurt myself. I'm just not in the mood for a big fat yogurt mess. Mm. Sometimes I do let them just do it all by hand, but it's just a lot to clean up at the end. Okay, we are now in the playroom until further notice. We got our new Love Every box in. Harper, do you want your new Love Every puzzle? Puzzle! I think this is my favorite box yet. It's for months 13, 14, 15, and they already are so obsessed with these toys. This is a really, really fun one. So check out the link in my description to get Love Every because I truly can't recommend it enough. I'll show some more of the fun toys. Oh, yay, good job. It's a little harder when there's two of you. <laughs> I'm pulling it down. We're learning this one. Oh, almost. Push, push, push. Yay, good job. Do it again. Ready, let go. You want the bunnies? There's another one of our new love everys, the little bunnies in a burrow. Pull out the bunnies. Oh, here go. Oh, did you see bunny? So now we just sort of hang in the playroom and read books and play with all of our toys until they're getting a little fussy. Then we'll probably try to go for a walk, but it is, what time even is it? Eight. It's only eight, so if they got up at 6.30, they'll go to bed for their first nap at 9.30. So we have an hour and a half. <coughs> the supreme toy. Yep. We like five little ducks. We like bananas for you. And we like the first book of colors. We've got a lot to choose from here. We kind of just try to rotate, but there's a few we always come back to. We love buzz. They love buttons. They're starting to fade on me, so you might need to do a walk here in a sec. Sometimes the three hour window like flies by, but it's taking its time today. Harper, where's your tongue? <laughs> There's your tongue, good job. I love you more than centipedes love boots. I love you more than tubas love toots. I love you more than hot dogs love, love buns. So fun, let's go for a walk.
All right, well, this is how the walk ended. Hudson has not been liking walks lately. We get 10 minutes out and he's just screaming in his stroller. So I always bring a carrier in the stroller with me now and Today was another carry day, so it is 9.15, which means we are gonna go get ready for nap <laughs> number one. I'm gonna get a little bottle, see if they wanna share a little bit of milk. Let's go do nap time. Okay, they are down for their nap. It is 9.30. Usually they'll do a two hour nap here. I mean, it kind of depends on the day, but more often than not, they do two hour nap in the morning. I'm going to go unload the dishwasher, make myself breakfast because I'm starving now and probably relax. I feel like I don't have that much to do. I've been trying to keep everything really clean. I'll tidy up the playroom, then I'll relax, hopefully. <laughs> Okay, here's my 10 second breakdown on what I have for breakfast almost every day. Okay, I already had this, but I do two of the, what even is this? Ristretta Firenze coffee and espresso pods with a splash of this bad boy and some almond milk. Drink that first, and then now I'm eating Dave's Killer Bread, Power Seed, a quarter of an avocado, everything but the bagel seasoning, and then an egg. A little squish in there. I just don't use oil or anything. I just put it on the nonstick. And then I love these from Costco. They're very green, healthy. <gasps> Look who's up. What time is it? 11.30. Harper's still snoozing. So I was able to sneak him out. So I'm gonna make him a bottle. I'm gonna do three ounces of formula and then two or three ounces of whole milk mixed in. Then the bottle after this is all whole milk. And then the bottle before bed is all formula. Baby. Look, Heidi, what's up? <laughs> Camera. <laughs> See? Yeah. Hi, guys. <laughs> Heidi, say, I'm cute. Cute. <laughs> Love it. Milk, please. Here, sometimes I have to contain him. Stay there, Bubba. You're stuck. You're stuck. You're stuck. <laughs> Are you a lion? Okay, it is 12.10, Harper is still asleep. Um, she's over two and a half hours and normally two and, a, two and a half hours is my max. So I will need to get her up soon. But not last night, but the night before, she woke up at like 9.30. She was up for a good two hours like inconsolable. So I finally just brought her in bed with me. She didn't want milk, nothing. She just wanted to lay with me. And we turned on Disney Junior lullabies. If you have Disney Plus, I feel like turning on TV is for sure stimulating, but I was like, I don't know what to do for you. Like she would not stop crying till I turned that on. So it's like, there's no singing. It's just really soft, like little lullaby songs with like little slow moving cartoons. So that's what we did. So I feel like maybe she's making up for lost sleep. She napped really well yesterday too. So I wanna let the girl sleep because my neighbor um, let me know that she's having some moms over. She like has a little splash pad and water table and ordering pizza and invited us over with some moms to go hang out on this sunny day. So I want Harper to be in good spirits. Sometimes I feel like if I wake them up from a nap, they just never recover. They're kind of crabby until the next nap. Anyways, Hadi is just partying with mama. You've gotten so much QT. But yesterday with my mom, we made cauliflower crust pizza with mozzarella and veggies. So he's having some little pieces of pizza. Waiting for sis. <laughs> we are almost 10 minutes till the three hour mark. Harpy girl's up. Should we go get sis? Harper! Mom is. Hi. Changing diapers is a journey these days. I'm gonna do bathing suits, normal diapers. Here's what I'm gonna put them in. Is that so funny? That's in his half dressed. Yeah. Do you wanna come out? Okay, here we go, ready? What about your milk? 
No. Okay. Maybe we're facing. Oh. Did you pull out all the swimsuits? Harper, what's that? A cat. A cat. <laughs> she loves cats. Harper, what's this? Cat. You look very cute. Look at these little paper. Oh, oh, I am so sorry. Yeah. Oh, he's coming after me. These little swim trunks are from Carter's, and the shirt is H&M, and then this is from Target, and these are from Zara. Do you guys want to go to a pool party? It's your first pool party. You want to see yourself? Look. <laughs> Where's your tongue? <laughs> Snacks. Puffs, sunscreen, swim diapers, diapers, changing pad wipes, baby water, mommy water, rash guard, sunscreen, sun hats, and towel. Just to go to the neighbors. <laughs> Okay, we are back. It is three o'clock. I'm hanging with Harpy. Huddy just went down for his nap. Oh, and I'll put her down in like 30 minutes. Mm. Oh, I just knock you off your feet. Okay, both babies are still asleep. Um, it's been like an hour since Hudson went down. I laid outside for a little with Alec being gone. I feel like I've just tried to keep like everything super clean, like really clean up each nap time. I'd rather have him here, but I'm being productive. <laughs> okay, they're up. It is five o'clock, which I don't let them sleep any later than five o'clock, no matter what. Hudson did a two hour nap. Harper did a one and a half hour nap. It's like a beautiful nap schedule that worked out much better than I thought it would. So two bottles of whole milk. I didn't honestly even measure. We're gonna have dinner pretty soon. So they'll just drink what they drink of this and then we'll eat soon. Let's go see the babies. Do you want some milk? Here you go. <gasps> Yummy, yummy, buddy. You guys are so cute. I could just eat you up. Do you guys wanna know something crazy? I have never in my whole life door dashed besides this week. We haven't had like great selection around here. It like took a sec. Um, and then just, we like to cook. So we like usually just make dinner at home. It's expensive if we're both buying full on meals for dinner, but I was gifted a little cash four meals this week while Alec is gone and I'm like, twist my arm, don't have to cook myself dinner. <laughs> Cat. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I can't eat it. Mama's gonna eat hummus. Ooh, hot pita. Is that fun? <gasps> um, mm, I read that it's good if they try to feed you that you should eat it. Good for their brain to see you do that. Is that yummy? These things are great. It's really, really, it's like water, really close to water. Just a tiny hint of juice, taste, zero sugar. Hudson is still working on straws. Harper, you want some? Here you go. Oh, 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 okay. Nope, keep going, it's okay. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Oh, no, no. Okay. All right. I think we're gonna put the juice away for a little. <gasps> Honey, are you playing with Buzz? Yeah, more? Okay. I also just got these little popsicle molds for babies off of Amazon. And I put that hint water in it with like a splash of orange juice. And they love them. Okay, guys, it is 6.20. I'm feeling very tired. <laughs> This is when it really is nice to have your husband home at the end of the day. Harper loves 
loves avocado. Yeah, and you can have it. <laughs> I'm tired. All right, it's almost seven. It's like 10 to seven. I'm going to attempt something I've never done before by myself, which is bath time. We do bath every other, or every day at this point. I've been doing every other day since Alec has been gone, but I had help for one of them. But with the sunscreen today and just being messy, we're gonna see how this goes. So I have everything ready. I think I'm gonna bathe them at the same time like I normally do. And then I have diapers and their towels laid out. So when they're done, instead of us each taking one and going into the nursery, I'll take one out, put them on the ground diaper, take the other one out, ground diaper, carry them into the nursery where I have the bottles already there and pajamas. It'll be fine. It's just, it might be a little stressful. Okay, we're so far so good. Okay, I'm sweating. Hudson is drinking Harper's bottle. Okay, let's do that. Harper's playing with diaper paste. I didn't film the whole bath sitch because one, privacy. Two, we need to focus. Are we angry? Yeah. 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 bottle. We're just trying to wind down. <gasps> <laughs> 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 I'm gonna brush my hair. <gasps> Thank you. Yeah, do you want to do it? hit Hudson. Okay, I don't know what just happened, but Harper just like threw up in her bed. I think it looks like a spit up, but it's like, it's fine. I think she just like pushed on her stomach right before I was saying goodnight. So now I'm gonna change the sheets. I think the night is officially through. We're gonna say our goodnight prayer. Do goodnight kisses. BRB. All right, my friends. Well, that was a day in my life. I'm gonna go figure out how to wash a couple of those stuffed animals I haven't had to wash yet. Throw some baby laundry in the washer. Yeah, do the dishes that I never did today that I said I did. And then clean up the playroom. So I'm gonna sign off here. No need to make you suffer through watching me clean another room, but I hope you enjoyed this and <laughs> I hope you moms out there feel appreciated and seen and heard whether you have help or not. We are all superheroes slash doing the very best we can every day. So much love and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.